Hi there, I'm Tom Monroe, the Home Inspector. Today I'm actually on a commercial inspection. Sometimes I do leak investigations for people looking to, to try and figure out what the problems are with their buildings. This is a commercial building and the people who occupy the space, which is a beauty salon, have complained about moisture leaking inside their building and inside the place where they're working. Let me show you. So this big wall is actually a fire separation between the building that I'm working on, which is what I'm looking at, and the building I'm standing on. And that firewall is also, when it's exposed, to be a building envelope and it's to be maintained like a building envelope, which means it needs to be painted and maintained regularly. When the water is bleeding out of the cracks, what it's saying is it's absorbing moisture and the water is trying to have get out the leaf path of resistance. I've got my moisture meter and I stick it in, it tells me exactly how much moisture is in that wall, that concrete. That's 41% moisture in that concrete there. As I step back and look at different parts of the wall, you can see that there's been a mild repair done there. Here, take a spot here. Look for moisture right in that crack, 43%. As I go down the wall, I see other locations where there's cracks that go run right down through the mortar bricks themselves. So there's that much moisture in them that they've actually cracked, weakened the brick and cracked the brick. So I'm gonna be suggesting to this client that they have a structural engineer look at this. There's quite a considerable area where there's moss now growing and 53% moisture there. And this horizontal part, 34. But as I go down the building, I wanna show you why the moisture is leaking in the power. It's a commercial building. It's got vertical concrete walls and it's got concrete slabs that are poured we have post-tension cables, the actual I-beam slabs that run through the building. I'm going to take you down and show you what those are in a moment. On this lower roof, you can actually see water running out of those blisters. And those blisters, sometimes when you poke them, they spit out moisture, just like that. You actually push on it and see the water coming out. A little bit further down, you can see the water is coming out of the wall there. So on top of this poured concrete, the water is stopping, 56%. The water is stopping and it's actually running back inside the building at that point. And that's what they're complaining to me about. So now that I'm down on the ground, you can see that water that's coming in each one of those joints, taking the least path of resistance. And for the privacy of the people that are getting some work done in the beauty salon, I won't take inside right now. You can clearly see how the moisture is getting in. So this client's had numerous contractors come and try and figure out how the moisture has got inside this building and all of them couldn't figure it out. It's because I inspect homes and buildings all the time that I understand how weather hits a building and how a building envelope should perform and keep that moisture outside of the building or a home. If you have any home related questions you'd like me to discuss, leave them in the comments below and let's figure them out. I post videos weekly. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Tom Monroe, The Home Inspector.